Welcome back, guys. So in this session, we're talking about emotional processing. Now, in today's society, it's become so common for us to use blanket term emotions. So saying things like, I'm scared, but not actually identifying what exactly I'm scared of and why am I scared and do I have any control over that fear or I'm happy, but why exactly am I happy and what is making me feel happy and how can I obtain more of that in my life? So learning about what emotions we are really feeling and how we're feeling them and why we're feeling them allows us to control how much more we feel them. Because what happens is, an emotional state or an emotion is a reflection of what we have experienced. So there's been a lead up to that emotion. So things have happened for you to feel the way you feel at that point in time. And you want to discover what behaviors, what behavior patterns, what daily routines are making you feel a certain way so that you can shift and alter them so that you can choose to feel more joy, more happiness, more inspiration. So if we look at this little diagram here, this is called the feeling wheel. And it really helps identify our emotions. So if you grab a pen and a piece of paper, we can start our reflection exercise and you can see how this is going to help you. So if you've got your paper and your pen ready, I want you to choose an emotion that you're feeling today. It doesn't matter whether it's negative or positive, just choose an emotion that you are feeling today and start at the center of the wheel. So are you feeling fear? Are you feeling anger? Are you feeling disgust, surprise, happy? Are you feeling sad? So just choose one. So let's now go for the feeling of fear. So I'm going to choose fear for this example. And then go to the second circle in this feeling wheel. And keep with the little triangle of fear and go to what kind of fear am I feeling? Am I fearing fear of humiliation? Am I feeling fear of rejection? Am I feeling fear of being submissive? Am I feeling scared or fear because I feel insecure? Am I feeling fear because I'm anxious? Am I feeling fear because I'm actually scared? I'm terrified of something. All right. So then choose that. So see in your second level, so you've chosen fear. And let's say there's a fear of insecurity. So there's a fear that I'm insecure. Okay. So then we're going to go into the outer wheel of this feeling circle. And we're going to look in the path of secure. The triangle is, am I feeling scared because I'm insecure because I feel inferior or inadequate? So let's say, for example, that this person is feeling inadequate. Now I know that I'm not just scared for no reason. I'm feeling scared because I feel insecure and I feel insecure because I feel inadequate. Now, is inadequacy something that I have control over? Absolutely, because it forms part of my personal growth. So what I then ask myself is, why am I feeling inadequate? Perhaps it's because I feel like I should know more in a particular field. Great. Do I have control over that? 100%. I can go and study. I can go and learn more. I can go and practice more of whatever particular skill I'm feeling inadequate in. So you see, that is the power of really analyzing our emotions on a deeper level and processing them in a way that is solution orientated, not just saying, oh, I'm scared or well, that's it, or I'm anxious or well, that's it, but I'm scared because I feel inadequate. I can control how adequate I feel by understanding that I need to feel that I am leaning more into my personal growth. So if we go back to our previous lectures, one of the needs I would need to prioritize in order to abolish this fear is I would need to put personal growth higher up on my level of human needs so that I could lean into that and feel like I'm growing more in order to have less fear of inadequacy. Now, what we could do is look for an opposite feeling. So let's say an opposite feeling to fear would be happiness. So how could I analyze happiness? So if we go back to the core of our circle, so how could I feel happy? What kind of happy do I want to feel? Do I want to feel joyful? Do I want to feel happiness through interest? Do I want to feel proud? Do I want to feel accepted, powerful, peaceful, intimate, optimistic? So let's stick with this example of someone who has fear because of inadequacy. Perhaps the happiness I want to feel is proud. I want to feel proud of myself. I want to feel happy because I'm proud of myself. All right. So how would I feel proud of myself? So analyze the emotion. And if you go into the outer circle there of proud, you can see 
Okay, so to feel proud, I need to feel important and confident or important or confident. So what could I do to make myself feel confident? Well, again, we know now that for me to feel more confident, I need to lean into my need of personal growth. I need to have an expansion of self to increase my knowledge of a particular skill, to practice a certain skill and become a master of it. And being able to do this shows you why you're feeling the way you are, but what behaviors you can use to shift that emotional state. So it's a really powerful tool to use. And if you're feeling like you're in a low state and you're not sure why, this is a great way of processing the why. So unlike the previous exercise where I've taught you how to shift your emotional state on command, before shifting your emotional state, it's important to understand why you are in a particular state, which is why this exercise is so important. So before shifting out of any low state, first analyze the feelings with your feeling wheel that you've learned here. And then once you've analyzed why you're feeling that way and how you can improve, then work on shifting the emotional state using the